Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at some of the Italian cruiser quirks, namely the first one, the full throttle smoke. It's a very simple concept, really you hit the smoke deploy and it deploys a smoke that covers your ship while you're moving at full speed. This allows you to drop off of detect um, and it's mostly useful if you need to like show broadside to disengage from something. And the reason I say that is because most Italian cruisers right now, they have above water citadels and if you go broadside and you don't have a smoke ready, it's a huge risk. You can get massively and very easily dev struck um, by opposing battleship players. The second thing about the Italian cruisers is the fact that they have something called semi-armor piercing. And SAP shells work in, well, kind of an interesting way. In some ways, they're kind of got like some characteristics of the armor piercing shells. Notably, they have uh, bouncing angles. They have an overmatch ratio of 14.3. But the second thing is, once those are accounted for, it basically just accounts for how much armor the enemy ship has, and then it does a very simple, does it penetrate, not penetrate, and then it does damage. So I'm playing in the test video here, the Zara, which has about 54 millimeters of SAP penetration. So against this particular rune, if I'm shooting on the side, you'll see that I'm getting all penetrations, and when the area is not saturated, I'm doing decent damage, right? That one's held for like 12,000. But then you see as the um, area gets saturated, my damage goes down by half. So even you know in that second salvo with all the shells hitting, I'm doing like 6,000 something damage. And that is, well, it's one of the things about the Italian cruisers is you are gonna see this damage drop off, especially with all the cruisers really up to about tier eight. Tier nine, it gets better. The tier 10 cruiser as of right now, um, you know, she can pack a punch. She can really pack a bit of a wall. Up. The other thing of course is because it's also got sort of like armor piercing quirks, which is they have auto bounce angles starting at 60, going up to 85, and they have that overmatch ratio, which by the way, when you're shooting at most battleships and cruisers that you're gonna run into, you're not really gonna be doing much overmatching there. So against bow in targets, you really struggle. Doesn't matter if the bowing target is a battleship or it's a cruiser, you're not gonna overmatch. And if you don't overmatch, well, you know, if you're counting on that auto bounce, it only works every so often. Yeah. German battleships is another one of those ships that you're gonna have real problems with, especially the higher tier German battleships like tier nine, tier 10. With their really thick, even upper belt armor, your SAP shells don't penetrate. So you're pretty much left to shooting a like superstructure, which again, the damage drop off is very, very quick. And very quickly you see your damage sort of go from reasonable to kind of low. Yeah, this is one of the big problems. Anything bow in and Italian SAP shells basically don't do anything. And you don't really have any alternatives as of the moment. Now do keep in mind that this is work in progress. So everything that we talk about can change by the time we make it to the live servers. I would probably suggest for Wargaming to maybe get away from the whole need to overmatch and whatever and just simply give us consistent damage. So in a way that HE does but without the fire. Maybe that could be the direction you want to go because it's a bit weird. Now SAP does do full penetration damage against two destroyers, Habarovsk and Harugamo, so you can actually do a nice chunk of damage there. However against the other destroyers where you're only going to be doing 10% of your shell damage, the Italian cruisers are basically worthless. Like you could run into a destroyer and a destroyer can laugh at you as it runs in and torpedoes you because you basically can't do anything about it. But at least, you know, Harugamo and Habarovsk, you can go after them. And especially for Habarovsk, which for some of the other cruisers might be a little bit harder to hit, the Italian cruisers do have very, very good ballistics and very fast shell flight time. So hitting them might not be so big of a problem. Yeah, so all in all, hmm, after testing SAP, and by the way, yeah, totally anemic versus destroyers, right? You just don't do anything. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all in all, overall impressions about the Italian cruisers, I think the SAP needs a little bit more work. Um, so yeah, I mean, the current mechanic with the whole bouncing thing is a, just a little awkward. Like the shells really can only be used in certain types of conditions and certain situations and the person who's shooting it really has to aim at specific things and the damage that you get doesn't really feel like you're getting that big of an advantage over just regular HE because HE still does set fires even if it doesn't penetrate while with SAP if you don't penetrate you don't do any damage so I feel like there could be some more things to be done there um, 
you know, either you increase the DPM, so that's like raising the reload time because the reload right now is slow, but it is workable. It's not like it's unworkable uh, reload, but it is slow. And I wish it's either that gets better or the level of damage done gets better in terms of consistency because right now, yeah, there's a lot of situations where neither of the two shell types you have really work, like, you know, because AP is even more limited, right? Mostly just broadside on targets, but SAP, you kind of need something pretty similar. All in all, that's the Italian SAP shells and the full throttle smoke. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Other than that, have yourselves a good day, and I'll talk to all of you again soon.